Luck Show. I'm Charlotte Collins and joining me on the sofa today are Wynne Malcolm, Heather Steele and Polly Sayer. Welcome you ladies. It is fast becoming the most wonderful time of the year. So today we will be chatting Christmas stockings. We're also going to be sharing some of our favourite purchases from an unexpected source. Later, Polly and I will be showing you the very best dresses at Mango right now. From floaty maxis to sexy minis, there's a little something for everyone. Plus, SL favourite Adiola Boyega is here with her guide to at-home chemical peels. And the team at Koji are back with the next recipe in our Friday night cocktail series. This time, it's a lychee martini. But first, as everyone knows, we're facing tricky times here in the UK with another lockdown. But don't worry, we're still going to be bringing you the sheer luck show to brighten up those days at home. Now, speaking of big world events... A little election going on. I don't know if you guys know about this. <laughs> uh, we are not going to veer into politics at all. Um, that's not our territory. But I do want to know if you guys have been as absolutely hooked on the American presidential election as I have, Winnie. I have. I love the memes. Firstly, that's what you get like the memes adds a bit of theatre to it. Um, yeah, I have been glued to it a lot. Polly? Yeah, I kind of have to agree with Winnie. Like, I love the memes. I love scrolling through Twitter, although I don't go on Twitter much anymore. It's quite funny these times. Of the year. Everyone has like, you know, a take on it that's quite amusing. I love kind of, you know, I woke up early this morning before my alarm, like the only time I ever do to be like, oh, I wonder what's going on. So I like that side of it, definitely. It's been a really good few days for Twitter. I also never use it. But when there was all the rumours swirling on Saturday about mm. the lockdown in the UK, as well. yeah. I mean, Twitter was popping, wasn't it? Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> um, Heather, are you engaged? Are you always engaged? Or has this one got you particularly interested? I think, yeah, I'm usually like fairly up for seeing what's going on. But because I work on The Brief, which we do here at Sheer Lux, I had to get up very early yesterday and today to be like, what's happened so we could send our email but yeah it's it's always exciting working on something like that but I mean we still don't know we what the outcome know. is do I, we? I always think before the election in this this one in particular I kind of thought of it like a sport like you know it's kind of far away it doesn't really affect us but then obviously you become even more invested don't you yeah, as so true and the more the media reports in it you, yeah. you kind of think about the implications mm. for you um yeah it's just it's just interesting how much it captures you. Um, all right, well, we are all waiting, obviously, on tenterhooks to find out who the winner is. We might not know till Friday. It might be yeah, later, so yeah, later. we don't know. Well, yes, yeah. I suppose it depends yeah. on depends on how much it continues to kick off. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, we thought we would talk now about Etsy. Um, this is because a lot of people have been taking up new hobbies and new interests over the last few months, obviously. Um, and it turns out that Etsy is um, a bit of a cash What's the word? Cash Spin hound. Up. Is that a thing? Yeah. Did I make that up? Yeah. Anyway, you can make something <laughs> cash on Etsy. Um, it turns out that the most lucrative uh, hobby you can have through Etsy um, is painting. You can earn up to £299 per painting you sell on Etsy. Anyway, I use Etsy all the time. Do you guys? Yeah, Polly. for the odd thing, I think it's really good for things like little, you know, quirky bits of jewellery, like finding small sellers that do things that are a little bit more niche. But yeah, I'm kind of... I'm not a big user of it for this. the odd thing. It's definitely like great for gifts and things like that, isn't it? Definitely. I think. I'm quite um, looking at the face masks and stuff. I love the face oh, masks. Yeah. There's been yeah. a lot yeah. of great yeah. sellers yeah. for things like that. But other than that, not really. Not but no. So not pre-corona. Not pre-corona, but post, well, during corona. <laughs> <Now>. <laughs> yes. They were actually one of, at the very beginning when you couldn't get nice face masks anywhere, they were like the mm, place to go, go to. Go to, go to. Yeah. yeah. Um, Heather, what about, I can imagine you're probably an Etsy user. Yeah, mainly for homeware because I like Ooh. buying sort of secondhand stuff so yeah, there's so many especially in Germany actually or maybe that's just my taste but lots of <laughs> sellers who've got loads of 70s and 60s style lighting mm. and accessories cool. and stuff that's have you cool. actually much cheaper purchased as well. yeah I have yeah for cheaper than sort of maybe going to a secondhand shop or a vintage shop so mm. I think yeah you get the seller ratings as well, which are good. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I really rate it. I also feel like it's a bit less stressful than eBay. I always find yes. eBay a bit intimidating. Yeah. And this is, you know, a kind of more of a reliable yeah. source. Yeah, I can't handle eBay. I like to just, the, this is the price. Yeah, just yeah exactly. Yeah. Good the haggling or yeah. any of that yeah. stuff. Well, I use Etsy for so many things. I was Ooh. saying to Rich before, um, I always buy cards on Etsy. Yeah, yeah. I think, oh, yeah because... Nice. I find them all a bit safe on the British High Street. You know, True. there's obviously like things that people can put on. It's just a bit cheekier and a bit more fun on Etsy. Mm. And 
and things like wrapping paper as well. Yeah. Like, oh, really? Yeah. So it's interesting. Wrapping paper, I bet all my Christmas stuff is so expensive in the, like, again, on the high street. I would yeah. never think to get that kind of thing yeah. on Etsy. Oh, you get, like, yeah. really fun personalised ones as well. Oh, I really okay. recommend. So yeah. it's not super expensive. No, it's, everyone's so affordable. And yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, anyway, the, obviously the chat about um, painting and hobbies got us thinking about if we were to have side hustles that we were to sell through Etsy, <laughs> what would they be? I'm afraid I have to pass on this one. I'm like the least creative person you will ever meet <laughs> in your life. But I feel like there are some ideas brimming here. Winnie? I don't know if it would be legal, but I definitely... No, <laughs> no, not... <laughs> um, probably baking, but I don't know if you can sell... You can buy baked goods. Yeah, I don't know if you can. <laughs> Are you doing brownies in the post yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Do do some yes. sort of vibes. I, that would be my yeah. side hustle, cooking. What would, what would you make? I'd probably make brownies, because that's... A good, your thing. That's yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, and we know you like a blondie as I well. Do. Yeah, mm. not peanut, <laughs> not peanut. <laughs> yeah. we're not sure about that um okay fine Polly what about you have you had a, oh, a kind of Etsy side hustle like you I don't think I've, I'm good enough at anything to kind of warrant selling mm. it I think I feel a bit guilty about asking people <laughs> to pay money for my things um but do you know what? the other day I was just saying to Winnie before this that I had my nails done at home and I've got this big lavender bush in my garden and I'm just it grows like wildfire yeah. I was saying to the lady in my nails like oh, I'm just gonna cut it down green she's like don't do that. You can bunch up the lavender, dry it out, and put it in little pouches and sell it, and people will pay for that. That's so maybe so that true. is my Especially now, solution. It's so stressful. So like lavender is what everyone needs. Yeah, exactly. 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 So you're thinking, underwear drawer. You oh, just yeah. need those kind of organzeri yeah. Yeah, yeah, little pouches. So maybe that can be my lockdown. You actually could, like this was kind of a fantasy catch up, but I think we should <laughs> actually. I think yeah. we should talk about business plan. Yeah. Um, Heather, what about you? Yeah, I won't be doing any painting anytime soon. No. But yeah, maybe I could sell some of my own homeware stuff to get other stuff. That's the only thing I could think of. Oh right, doing. just like, things you already basically, need. yeah, or okay. like you know, I like going through charity shops and getting good stuff really cheap, and then you could sell it for a profit. Perhaps that's the dream. Yeah, it's such a nice career. People would yeah. do that. Um, okay, lovely. Uh, well, obviously Etsy chat and my kind of this is my train of thought is my Christmas wrapping, my Christmas cards. Christmas stockings um, because as we said in the intro um, it's it's coming we don't want to like OD on the Christmas content just yet there's there's a world to go but it is it is on the horizon um, so we did start thinking about stocking fillers we had a bit of a chat before this about what constitutes a stocking filler I kind of always had it in my head as it was something quite cheap and fun but we feel like yeah. it's maybe been elevated recently I, I feel like have. that I don't know why just whenever you see any sort of general stocking filler like ideas around I'm always yeah kind of yeah, I feel like it's expensive small things these days. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Things that would fit in a stocking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, down to interpretation, I think. Sometimes they could be as cheap as like a Terry's chocolate orange or it could be an expensive perfume, whatever, as long as it's small. In, in my opinion, yeah. I think it has yeah. to be small. Sm right, you've just got to be able to stuff them yeah. in. Small in size, big in price. I like it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I, we, I've got a list here of what everybody here is hoping for. I actually think I massively failed on that task. But anyway, um, <laughs> what everybody is hoping to find in their stockings this year. Uh, let's go around. Winnie, what are you hoping for? Obviously, there's there's a bit of beauty in the mix. I got um, I put down a Chanel Mademoiselle soap. So, but it's a motif mm. one, so it has the logo in oh, it. Cool. So I'm the that. kind of person in my bathroom won't use it. I will just put it there <laughs> yeah, yeah, next yeah. to a few little bits, yeah, and definitely. I think it looks quite chic and. Yeah, yes. I love that. Yeah, lovely. That's a really good mum gift, actually. Oh mm. my gosh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, noted. Thank you. Very Have good. you seen they're doing a? There's a Chanel um, hot water bottle cover. I tried to look for it. I couldn't find it. I don't it. think you can buy it. I oh. think it's only for selected beauty oh. press. Oh. I know, but it's. it's I hate it when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, and your other wish list product? My other wish list was some um, silk pyjamas, but mm. short silk pyjamas. Mm. And I picked the HA um, set, and you can have them personalised, which I think Cute. is nice for Christmas. You know. So nice. Yeah. Winnie. <laughs> that is <laughs> Winnie. Yeah. <it's> Winnie. <laughs> Good, good plan. Um, I sent Polly a pair of personalised pyjamas yesterday that I was obsessed with and she was like, those are disgusting. So, yeah. so anyway, we won't be sharing the name of them. I love them. Um, Polly, what are you hoping for in your stockings this year? Well, I always feel like Christmas is a really good time to get a new pair of slippers and I've had the same pair for a couple of years now and they're getting a little bit tired. So I found these amazing kind of cloud-like ones from a brand called Plumo. Who, recent discovery, but they've got some really good bits on there. Something yeah. a bit more like, you know... Um, you know, an individual, I guess, or unique. Can and I say they, they just... do really good face masks. I have a face mask. Yeah, I've got a linen one in the summer. I also didn't know, but they're okay. really good. Mm. Check them out for that. But yeah, slippers are just, oh my God, they look like wearing little clouds on mm. your feet and they look very, very toasty and quite reasonably priced, I would say. So Great. those are my first ones. And then I also found this gorgeous little jewellery box from Oliver Bonus, I think it was. Mm. Um, but I really feel like I've got quite a lot of nice jewellery, which is a nice thing, obviously, but I just kind of 
put it in this little dish all together and it's quite hard to kind of detangle them and whatever and it would be nice to have a nice jewelry box where I can yeah. separate my rings my bracelets etc etc so hoping my husband's watching and he's listening because <laughs> I would like that um, yeah. Oliver Bonus is actually so good at this time of year stocking fillers but also yeah. like secret Santa gifts Trinkets. like yeah, boxes Trinkets. so, so yeah. great um, Heather what about you so Japanese artist um, Yasoi Kasuma, who I love, has done uh, a collaboration <coughs> with Verve Clico, and she basically she's the artist who does all those big pumpkins with yeah, all yeah, the yeah. dots on and dots everywhere. And yeah, she's done a champagne bottle that's basically covered in loads of dots that looks amazing cool. and really fun. And they were meant to have a pop up at Selfridges, but hopefully that will start again in December. And then my second one, I've already got it, so technically it's not for me. But <laughs> Fiden's got this little design book that's only thirteen pounds, and it's basically got. Uh, really nice photos and images uh, and sort of info about all these design things like the wishbone chair, like certain oh. lamps, like basically everything you see around tech-wise and homeware-wise. Cool. And I don't know, I just think it would appeal to a lot of different people. So a great price as well. Yeah. As you say, quick. Mm. Um, okay, noted. Well, mine are, uh, people will remember the Space NK haul we did on the show um, a few weeks ago with their fragrances. And I fell head over heels for the Maison Margiela oh. Jazz Club one, which Heather, I know I you love wear. that brand. All of their perfumes are yeah, amazing. It's amazing. I had I said on the on the tie, on the hall that I hadn't I didn't know they did fragrance, but I'm oh, upset. Nice. It's like this like smoky, sexy, it's amazing. Jazz so, Club's the best. Jazz Club is the best. Yeah. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Also, well, I don't even need the husband to watch because he knows. Yeah. <laughs> He's been told. <laughs> told um, and then also you can buy this is so not a stocking filler. I just I just really want this. <laughs> Sorry, it's massive. You're gonna need an enormous stocking. <laughs> um, but you can get Toblerone that oh. is like it's for how many? It's 4.5 kg, this Toblerone. Oh, wow. Toblerone. <laughs> and it's like a meter off the floor. But I'm not joking. The, the chocolate pieces are, are this big. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah like but then they're not hollow. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. do you bite into that, though? Like, you kind of have to <laughs> like, gnaw it. Just like, yeah. nibble away. Yeah, you like shave it with your teeth. It's very sexy. <laughs> yeah, I cannot tell you. It is the oh. ultimate. They're not cheap. I was going to say, yeah, oh, wow. It's 87 pounds. Oh, oh, no, yeah. And it Yeah, it's not really a stocking filler. Sorry. But anyway, it's a great gift It's a good thing to know. Oh, my God. When you don't know what to get someone. That is like a tree bomb. Yeah. 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 Or you could like prop it up next yeah. to the tree. Lean it on. Yeah. Quite hard to wrap though, yeah. that triangle. Yeah, so maybe just don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, very quickly, um, since we're on the topic of Christmas, Tan France of Queer Eye fame um, caused a controversy on Instagram the other day when he put up his tree. It is his, him and his husband's tradition that they put their tree up on Halloween Eve, so the night of. Um, so, where are we? 5th of November. It's only just Guy Fawkes night. How soon is too soon to put up your tree, in a word? Heather? It's too soon. I, but I'm, you know me anyway. I probably would, if I have to, put it up on the 23rd oh, yeah. of December. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God>. Okay. <laughs> Polly? Right. I'm a 1st of December kind of gal. I think that's the very, like, earliest you should okay. do it. Winnie? Yeah. If a tree was out, I would have it in my living room, put it that way. Yeah. Like, as soon as I see them... I'm getting it. Yeah, I think yeah. I agree. I think we all need as much festive cheer as we yeah. can, festive cheer as we can get right now. So. Lights make you happy. Yeah, it's I actually might just fun. put mine up. Mine up. <laughs> <Do> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, thanks guys. Uh, next up, Polly and I are back with a great mango dresses haul. But first, it's the second in our Friday night cocktail series. And Thomas from Koji is showing us how to nail the ultimate lychee martini. Perfect timing for lockdown two.
welcome back. Polly and I are now here in front of a very exciting rail of new dresses from Mango. Polly's going to try on each one so we can get a real feel for the fit, for the length, and that we've got a bit of everything, haven't we? Yes, we definitely have. We've got some daytime stuff. We've got some kind of a little bit more glamorous for eventually when we can go out again. Um, yeah, I think there's something for everyone here. I agree. Okay, so should we get cracking? Yes, Dress number one. Let's do it. Off you go behind your magical screen. Okay. So you know. <laughs> Right, dress number one. Let's see it. Ooh, okay, oh, I like cute. this. So what have we got? We've got a knitted roll yeah, neck. Yeah, roll neck. It's kind of like an oversized jumper, isn't it? But yeah. it definitely passes as a dress. I really like it for, with these boots. It's kind of like a tiny bit sexy with a leg out, isn't it? But it's still practical Agreed. and cosy. And you're quite tall. So if anyone's yeah. worried about it being too short, then, then I think it's a pretty good length, isn't it? Yeah, I'm 5'7 for reference, in case anyone's there wondering. But yeah, I'm a big fan of that. There's a lot of this look around at the moment, and they love it with a really oversized coat. Yes, you definitely. Know, double breasted. It's just it's cool. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's good with these chunky boots. I think you could also go with a knee high as well yep. if you wanted to go for something a little bit more dressy. Yeah. Or you yeah. could belt it and wear it with jeans. Absolutely. There you go. Very nice. Cool. All right, on to the next. All right, next one. Right, dress number two. Dress number two. Oh, pretty. Big fan of this. This is a good one. I think you could dress it up like for work, I guess, or with, you know, with a belt or something like that, but then it's great for every day as well, isn't it? So good. Also, this time of year, absolutely key to have a dress that you can eat a lot in. in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and, I and it's so nice that it's got these pleats along the bottom. It just gives yeah. it a bit more extra body, doesn't it? Definitely. I like this little tie detail here as well. Yeah. So you can wear that open if you fancy, you know, display a necklace or something like that. But that, that's also quite nice to do up, I think. Mango do some of the best floaty midi mm. slash maxi dresses on the high street, don't they? Yes, they absolutely do. And this one is super comfy, just moves really nicely. And also, if you're not a fan of a floral or you want something a mm. bit less feminine, nice to have the little Yeah, I print. quite like a little animal print. And this is not too in your face, isn't it? If you're not sort of a massive fan of it, but you want to try a something like this, it's good. Lovely. Cool. Okay, next next up. one. Okay, I am wearing a mango knit dress from I think even two years ago. And this is the new iteration yes. of the mango knit dress, isn't it? I didn't know that one was from mango. It's it is, a nice yes. one, isn't Thank it? So yeah, I'm a big fan of this. I like this kind of collar detail going. It's quite Nanushka inspired this, isn't it? And Very a much really so. good length. Yeah. I kind of don't love when a knitted dress finishes just below the knee, but this is kind of mid calf length, which I think is. Agreed. Yeah. It needs good. it needs to be nice and long. Yeah, it, it either has to be kind of short, yes. mid thigh, or this long, I think. I think a lot of people feel very drowned in in a knitted dress because like I mean something like this is very oversized. Mm. I like this one because it's just a little bit slimmer. Yeah, it's just kind of more of a straight shape. It's not gonna drown you with loads of fabric. So if you are on the shorter side and you're worried about wearing something like this, don't be. I think this is a really good option. And a bit more lightweight than a than yes. a heavy one or a roll neck one. Yeah, like. and I know people like to know with knitwear whether it's itchy at all but this is not in any way i think if you're sensitive to that kind of thing then do not worry great nice with the flat boots and yeah maybe a leather jacket yeah definitely cool that. cool okay what's next next thing. oh i'm into this one yeah big fan this. of that yeah. okay i'm very excited about this Delo yes. number sweet down. yeah how nice is that I it's love a really it. wearable one isn't it really wearable i think on site they've got it styled over a polar neck i yeah. could be wrong but anyway they should regardless because i love mm. that look yeah definitely i think you obviously can wear it like this but if you need a bit of a, an extra kind of layer for when it gets cold that roll neck will look really cool i think this is a really nice sort of daytime dress i like that it's cinched in at the waist a bit to give you some shakes i think a lot of the time those kind of straight up and down Denim dresses are not, for me, always the most flattering, but this is a good shape. And it's got pockets. Dream. Um, what, knowing when to wear tights can obviously be tricky. Mm. And I feel like this kind of dress lends itself perfect, or any kind of mini, really, but to black tights at this yeah. time here as well. You could easily sure. add a heeled boot and a pair of tights and a pony neck if you wanted to warm it up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think you could also dress up a little bit. Maybe this might spark the earrings. I, yeah. like, I think that goes really nicely with the wash black or something. Yeah, yeah. it's good smart it's casual it. in between. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Great. I'm actually right. one on later. Yeah, okay. Do it. Uh, we've got some some sparkles. Some sparkles. Next. Yeah, it's exciting. See. Right. Out you come. Oh, very snazzy. Um, Rich off camera just made a snarky joke about this not being what you want to wear for your Christmas at home. But I actually so disagree because yeah. we like you have to do what's gonna. Make Jolly you feel good. Yeah. And this definitely sparks a bit of joy, doesn't it? It certainly does. Would, wear it at home. What, you, would you wear this at home? Yeah, absolutely. I think you could wear it with this, like with, pop a blazer over yeah. it if you really wanted to. But I think it's nice to make an effort, even if you are at home. So 100%. Why not? Back in April, I was a bit like, mm, could just live in trackies all day. But mm. with the Christmas, you know, in the air, yeah. with, it, with it approaching, I mean, how nice to just feel like a yeah. bit more glamorous and festive. I'm sort of over just wearing tracksuit bottoms okay. the whole time. Nice. There's a time and a place. Yeah. But also very nice to feel like you're making an effort exactly. and this certainly does that exactly and again you could add some tights to this yep definitely yeah. i wear maybe like 
some very sheer ones, like a yeah. very low denier one, but yeah, yeah, I think that would look really cool. Love. Oh, super cool, yeah, love that. Cool, next one, let's go. Okay, another pretty midi this time. Yeah, I mean, you can never have too many nice floral midis in your wardrobe, but this one, it's a really nice one. You can chuck a chunky cardio over the top of it, belt it maybe if you wanna give it a bit more interest, chuck a blazer over it, put some boots, knee highs or ankle, it's just really versatile, isn't it? I think this is a really nice grown up dress. Mm. You know, it's quite sophisticated. I love that pattern. It's pretty, again, it's floral, but it's not kind of ditzy floral. It's just, yeah. it feels very kind of sedate, but lovely. Yeah, yeah, and the color tone's very like autumnal, so yes. big fan of that. And then it's got these lovely little buttons yes. down here, which I think just adds a little bit, something nice, a bit different. It's really flattering actually, because it's got the kind of pleating hair and then it's got the cinch waist. Yeah. So it's really flattering silhouette. Yeah, yeah, nice little sort of cuff detail here, which gives that slightly puffed sleeve mm. as well, which is, yeah, just really pretty, isn't it? Lovely, very nice. Ooh. Right, next, next one. Oh, we've got some more sparkles. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Okay, this is, I can see it already, this looks amazing. Yeah, this might have to be my favorite so far. It's, it's just unreal. so cool, isn't it? Like, it's I love so cool. the high neck, the slightly puffed shoulders. You can feel some shoulder pads in there, so quite okay. 80s inspired, but I think that's what makes it so cool, right? 100%, like, so cool. I, I can understand, we, we both love the silver sequin version, but I can yeah. understand why people might want something a little bit more muted, and like, yeah. this is it, this yeah, is amazing. Yeah, definitely, I don't know if you can quite see it on the camera, but it's kind of, almost like wavy print with sparkles in yeah. there. So yeah, if you want to do something a little bit glitzy, but not quite as out there as that silver one, this is yeah. such a nice option, isn't it? It's amazing. And also <sighs> these, all these party dresses that we have here are pretty timeless. So, mm. you know, even if you don't think you're gonna wear it this year, then like snap up these really good ones. 100%. And wear the next year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Something I'd keep in my wardrobe for years. Agreed, Great. love that. Ooh, fab, what's next? I love it. What is next? We've got another floral dress. Another pretty one. Okay, next up, this is pretty. It's super pretty. I'd say it's probably not my usual style. It's mm -hmm. quite girly, but that pattern is really nice. It is. It's, it's obviously very pink, but it is on a black background, yeah. which does kind of balance out the girliness and make it a bit more seasonal as well. Yeah, exactly. It? But I have to say this kind of chuck on long style, it's just, it's really comfortable, isn't it? You yeah. can't really go wrong with something, this shape, and it suits everyone, doesn't it? It's a bit like the Organi one that you're wearing today. Yeah, in shape. exactly. Like, it's so easy to wear. I love how, I mean, this is how you've obviously styled your Organi one today yeah. as well, but I <laughs> love it with the Grenson boots. I just think it balances it out yeah, so well. Yeah, yeah, because obviously these boots are kind of quite tough, yeah. and I like that balance between the really girly pattern and, yeah. a, and a tough boot like that. I think that if I was going to wear a dress like this, this is how I'd style it. Yeah, perfect. And I think, you know, for so many people, chuck on and go pieces are mm. so handy. So this is definitely one of those, isn't it? Yes, for sure. Great. I'm so, I think Ooh. this might be my pick of the rail, this next yeah, one. I'm very excited to try this one, actually. See. This is so good. Yeah, maybe new favorite now, actually. Yeah. This is so, so good. Daisy just said this is a little Christmas day number. Yeah. I think she's right, isn't she? I think she's definitely right. Again, like if you want something a bit more muted, a bit more paired back for Christmas day, yes. still a little bit sexy and you've made an effort, then this is a great one, isn't it? And this is obviously a nod to Kate, which is the brand yes. who put the, you know, the ribbed finish and the square neckline on the, on the, in the spotlight. Yeah. They put it sure. out there. That's why it's here. So, um, but this is just the perfect, High street tube, isn't it? Yeah, I really feel like this neckline, that kind of scoop there, and it's almost like just coming off the shoulders. It's just so flattering on so many body shapes. And this just, oh, it sucks you in just the right way. It's not constricting. It's actually super stretchy. So very, very comfortable. Enough, you know, room yes. to, to eat on Christmas Day for 100%. sure. But. And I love this trend. Maybe a year or so ago, you wouldn't have been able to wear a dress like this with a flat boot like that. It just mm. kind of wasn't a thing. But so many people are making it work. And it's just, again, that perfect high-low balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely my kind of thing. A really yeah. Form-fitting dress with a chunky boot to kind of yeah. balance that out. Love. Love That's it. That's so good. I mean, that will sell out so quickly. So snap yeah, it snap up. Yeah, snap it up, definitely. Yes. I feel like maybe this one is actually this year's version of this one, even though they're quite different lengths. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. This, yeah, quite similar yeah, colour, similar, similar vibes, yeah. but obviously shorter. Again, like quite an easy sort of shape to chuck on with the boot like this or a knee high if you wanted to. Just, yeah, comfy, cosy, a little bit sexy every box. I think Mango's really proving that the mini is back as well, aren't Yes, they? for sure. I, I actually really like a mini. I, you know, fight its corner for yeah. sure. And it's, everyone can do it. I think if you want to make a mini work, you just have to go for it. Agreed. And yeah. yeah. Great. Love it. Lovely. Easy. Next one. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, this is Very a dramatic. daring. This is a statement look. For sure. It's definitely a bit daring, isn't it? But 
loving it. I actually think I really like it. We yeah. saw a high-end version of this recently on the show. This is obviously yeah. an affordable dupe. Yeah. But it's just, it's cool, isn't it? It is really cool. And it's a really classic sort of shape. Mm -hmm. So while it's got the leather going on, which is a bit more of a statement, it's actually quite a nice sort of comfortable design that you can wear with so many different things. Yeah. And I have to say the leather, the faux leather, I should say, is really soft, I love um, that. which you know is an important consideration, yes. and it feels and looks, I think, quite expensive. Really expensive, and I love. I think you're right. It's because it's a shirt dress that it works. If it was, mm. you know, something a bit more eveningy, then it might feel too much. But because it's this casual shape, then in the leather, it's. I think it looks great. Great for yeah, every day. Yeah, like that tie waist yeah. belt as well. Yeah, the shape doesn't it? Really cool. Yeah, I like that. All right, we've got one final amazing part. Very of coming exciting. Up. Okay, and finally, save the best till last. Absolutely. Another fabulous mini. Yeah, so I feel this is quite Saint Laurent, isn't it? It is, yes, I really it is. like it. Super glittery, quite statement. Love the one shoulder detail. Yeah. Just such a cool party. It's dress. amazing, especially with those slouchy boots. It's very that kind of French. I won't say it's very as bum rant because we say that about everything, <laughs> but it is that vibe, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's party, but it's it's like a cool French version of a party. Yeah, and this whole 80s vibe. Again, another yes. padded shoulder going on in here. You like that kind of thing. It gives it a bit of structure, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, epic. Love and it's also it. not too short. You've obviously got some skin on show with yeah. the arm. Yeah, can put um, it right down. But, but yeah, not too much leg. Yeah. Amazing. Love it. It's really so, gorgeous. And it looks so expensive. It does, doesn't it? I'm going to have to go and buy that as well. Do it. We can twin. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Polly. What an amazing selection of dresses. Uh, next up, Sherlux regular Adiola Boyega is going to show us how to perfect the at-home chemical peel. This is the time to get rid of those dark spots and pigmentation so we all come out of lockdown with our skin never having looked better. Don't go away. I'm a bit nervous, but excited. Yeah. Welcome to the Lux Girl Show. I'm Georgina Lennon and I'm joined by Judy Congaruan, Sophie Habu and Georgia May Salama. And today we'll be chatting all things fashion, beauty and food. Just filmed for the first time. Uh, girlies, how are we feeling? Oh, so excited. My jaw is me. Hey guys, Adiola here. Now it's a new season, it's winter, and that means one thing, chemical peels. Chemical peels are one of my favorite treatments to do, but obviously with lockdown, we're not able to go and have treatments. And one of the things I like to do is actually maintain my treatments that I have at home with some really great exfoliating or peel products. Now, peel season is a really important time of the year because obviously when we're outdoors in the summer, our skin gets exposed to so many different elements. We can get pigmentation, sun damage, but actually when it comes to winter, this is the perfect opportunity to really rejuvenate your skin with the treatment. And one of my favorite things to do is obviously get in a chemical peel, but I love to maintain the results at home as well. So the first product that I wanted to show you were these. So these are the Dr. Dennis Gross Ultra gentle peel pads. I love that they come in a two-step process so they're really easy to use and very convenient if you are traveling. You have one step and then you've got two steps and these are fantastic if you're looking to really revitalize your skin, reveal more brighter luminous skin. Now these are a great alternative for somebody that is venturing into chemical peels. Maybe this is your first time trying a peel, you're not too sure about your sensitivity levels and you're really worried about irritation definitely try these. What's great is that you have one step that has, you know, all these incredible acids. So you basically peel it, you take that first step and then you basically swipe it over the skin. It literally looks like a towelette like this. And it's soaked with some acids such as mandelic acid, lactic acid, which are amazing to really resurface the skin without causing too much irritation. And then the second step is basically some really beautiful soothing ingredients that will help to neutralize the peel. So when you first put on that first sort of towelette, which is a step one process, apply it all over the skin until it gets dry, wait two minutes, and then go in with the 
second step. And this is great because it basically neutralizes the first step of the peel, but also really soothes the skin with some really beautiful calming ingredients as well. They really do promote sort of, you know, brighter, more even skin, and they're just so simple and easy to use. So if you are new to peels and you want to try something out, definitely go for these by Dr. Dennis Grace. Next up is this beautiful product by one of my favorite skincare brands, which is the Kate Somerville. This is the Liquid Exfoliate. Now, Kate Somerville is a well-known facialist um, in the US. People go to her, especially if they've got a special event coming up and they want that real skin rejuvenation for chemical peels and treatments. And she's actually bottled this treatment to kind of emulate, you know, that kind of radiance that you get after one of her facials or chemical peels. I love this because it's packed full of fruit enzymes and AHAs, which are basically alpha hydroxy acids. And alpha hydroxy acids are fantastic for anti-aging and the promotion of, you know, brighter skin. So in here, you've got things like papaya, um, pineapple extracts, which are amazing for promoting cell renewal and sloughing away the dead skin, as well as also alpha hydroxy acids in the form of lactic acids. And they are literally all together a really incredible powerhouse to really, you know, blast away and take away any dull skin that can leave your skin looking really tired and really dull. You can tell why I really, really love exfoliants and acids and pills like this because it really is all about promoting fresher, more radiant skin and bringing that to the surface. No one wants to have all that beautiful skin hiding under those dead skin cells. This is amazing. I love that you get minimal um, irritation with this. You've got some really beautiful soothing ingredients to kind of really combat the fact that you are using a very powerful peel, but also as well, it's gonna resurface the skin with very limited irritation. And it's such a beautiful formula. When it comes to using any of these peel products that promote sort of, you know, sloughing away of the skin, don't use them too regularly maybe once or twice a week see how your skin feels and make sure you're really thinking about you know protecting your skin with a sun protection SPF definitely in the morning every single day especially if you're using these things because what you don't want to do is just leave your skin vulnerable to you know the sun if you were to leave and go outside and that will obviously just kind of cause further damage to that really beautiful skin that you've just revealed now the next product i'm going to show you is actually the one i'm going to demo on my skin and i have been loving it recently to really maintain my results after I've had a retinol pill recently. My last pill I had a couple of weeks ago was a retinol pill and my skin shedded like like no man's business. It literally all came off. It was so satisfying to see, but I really wanted to maintain those results with an at-home treatment. And that's where this is coming. This is the Alginist Dark Spot Correcting Peel, and it is amazing. It basically combines my favorite ingredients, which is vitamin C. You guys know that I love vitamin C. It's a great antioxidant for promoting brighter, more even skin. But you've also got glycerin in here. And glycerin is one of the best ingredients to really help to keep moisture locked in and to hydrate. Because some of the concerns that people have when they have a chemical peel and I've experienced it is that it does make your skin feel a bit tight and dry so it's so important to make sure that you're reloading your skin with hydrating ingredients um, after your peel but I love that whilst you're using this treatment you're getting the glycerin benefits to re-moisturize your skin at the same time so it's so important to make sure that your skin is thoroughly cleansed before you know applying any peel products to make sure that you're getting the best you know results and effectiveness from them always put your peel onto a damp skin especially this one so I'm gonna go in with the Splash Hydrating Mist by Alginist, and I'm literally just gonna spritz that over my skin because I want my skin to be quite damp before I go into the peel. And then once I go in with the peel, I like to use an applicator like this, or you can just use your fingers. I'm gonna go straight in with the peel. It literally looks like this. It looks quite sticky, but it goes on really, really lovely. And it actually has a really beautiful cooling effect. They say about four to six pumps is what you would need to apply the peel um, and make sure that it really covers all areas of the skin. So you're just gonna go in and apply the peel like so. But I just love that when it goes onto the skin, it doesn't feel tight or dry at all. And already, I mean, even when you put the peel on, it just feels so beautiful. And you're literally left with the glowiest of skin afterwards. Okay, so the peel is on. They say to leave it on for about 20 minutes and then you can just wash it off. So I'm gonna leave it on now and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you my skin straight after the peel. And this is my skin after the peel and I am so impressed. Every single time I use this peel, I literally feel like I've, you know, got a new complexion all over again. It's super smooth. It just feels really plump and hydrated. 
and it's a really beautiful sort of canvas as well if I was going to wear makeup afterwards because my makeup just goes on so beautifully so I love this and I'm really really loving the results that I'm getting it's also specifically good for treating pigmentation fading the appearance of dark spots and pigmentation so if you do suffer from that as well the alginous peel is fantastic for that so I really hope that you've enjoyed my video on my favorite chemical peel treatments that you can use at home if you're somebody that's new to peels and you really want to revitalize and rejuvenate your complexion really have a look at any of these and i love that each of them are great in their own way but depending on what level that you're at in terms of you know using peels whether you're a beginner or somebody that's a bit more advanced like myself you can really get some incredible results uh, from using these treatments at home so thank you so much for watching guys and stay safe and well during this lockdown Thank you so much, Adiola. The aftermath of that peel looked so satisfying. What a fun show. Thank you to Polly, Winnie and Heather too. On our next show, I'll be back with a high street cozy loungewear haul to die for. And the gorgeous Lorna Robertson, MasterChef finalist, is back with some much needed new inspo for easy winter lunches at home. Plus, we have a new series launching. It's Heather's hot list. You won't want to miss it. In the meantime, please do comment below with anything else you'd like to see on the show. We're listening to your ideas, so please do keep them coming. Don't forget also to thumbs up, subscribe and tell your friends. Bye-bye.